Oh, Fatu, Fatu Fessy, Fatu Fessy, Suki. He's sawing, trying to saw the boat to get free. In your bag here? Right pocket, right pocket. Now hold it towards me more, then you're going to get yes. Good one, well, good going. It's it's acting like it's going in circles like that. Oh, it's a big piranha. Oui. You gonna bring him up yourself? Grab one by the way. Grab one by the way, though. Hey, this is a small piranha. Hold him, smile. Oh, Zach's got a big one. Okay, here we are in the rainforest uh, for another uh, three hours further south, almost at the Brazil border. And uh, we're going to start in Psalm 69 today to the chief musician up on Shoshanim, a psalm of David. Save me, O God, for the waters are come in unto my soul. I sink in deep mire when there is no standing. I am come into deep waters where the floods overflow me. I am weary of my crying. My throat is dry. Mine eyes fall while I wait for my God. They that hate me without a cause are more than the hairs on my head. They that would destroy me, being my enemies, wrongfully, are mighty. Then I restored that which I took not away. O oh God, thou knowest my foolishness, and my sins are not hid from thee. Let not them that wait on thee, O God, Lord God of hosts, be ashamed for my sake. Let not those that seek thee be confounded for my sake, O God of Israel, because for thy sake I have born reproach. Shame hath covered my face. I am become a stranger unto my brethren, and an alien unto my mother's children. For the zeal of thine house which eateth me up, and reproaches, the reproaches of them that reproacheth thee are fallen upon me. When I wept and chastened my soul with fasting, that was to my reproach. I made sackcloth out of my garment, and I became a proverb unto them, to them. And I became a proverb to them. Then they that sit in the gate speak against me, and I was the song of the drunkards. But as for me, my prayer is unto thee, O Lord, and in an acceptable time, O God, in the multitude of thy mercy hear me, in thy truth of thy salvation. Deliver me out of the mire, and let me not sink. Let me be delivered from them that hate me, and out of the deep waters. 
Let not the water flood overflow me, neither let the deep swallow up me up. Neither let the deep swallow me up. And let not the pit shut her mouth upon me. Hear me, O Lord, for thy loving kindness is good. Turn unto me according to the multitude of thy tender mercies, and hide not thy face from thy servant, for I am in trouble. Hear me speedily. You ever been in trouble? You ever called upon the name of the Lord when you're in trouble? Hear me speedily. Draw nigh unto my soul and redeem it. Deliver me because of mine enemies. Thou hast known my reproach and my shame and my dishonor. Mine adversaries are all before thee. Reproach hath broken my heart, and I am full of heaviness. And I looked for some to take pity, but there was none. And for comforters, I found none. You ever been in that place? You have no comfort? Everything's gone wrong? There's nobody that cares anymore? Read the book of Psalms. Read what David had to say. Read what Solomon had to say. They gave me also gall for my meat, and in my thirst they gave me vinegar to drink. This is what Jesus was going to predict it back in the book of Psalms. Men, let's see their table become a snare before them. Look at what Jesus Christ went through. And that which should have been for their welfare, let it become a trap. Let their eyes be darkened, and that they see not, and make their loins continually to shake. Pour out thine indignation upon them, and let and let thy weight, wrathful anger take hold of them. Let their habitation be desolate, and let none dwell in their tents, for thy for they persecute him whom thou hast smitten, and they talk of the grief of those who thou hast wounded, and the iniquity unto their iniquity, and let them not come into thy righteousness. Let them be blotted out in the book of the living, and not be written with the righteous. You can get blotted out. You can get blotted out of the book of the living. But I am poor and sorrowful. Let thy salvation, O God, set me up high. I will praise the name of God with a song and will magnify him with thanksgiving. This also shall please the Lord better than an ox or bullock that hath horns and hoofs. The humble shall see this and be glad and your heart shall live that seek God. You seek God, your heart shall live. For the Lord heareth the poor, and despises not the prisoners. Let the heaven and earth praise him, the seas, every living thing that moveth therein. For God will save Zion, and will build the cities of Judah. And they have made that they may dwell there, and have it in possession. The seed also of the servants shall inherit it, and they that love his name shall dwell therein. They that love his name. Do you love the name of Jesus Christ? Are you preaching for him or against it? Do you believe his words? Do you believe the King James Bible is the word of God in the English language? It hasn't been translated into every language yet, but that's something that you ought to be doing if you said out there building church buildings and stuff. We had a great day fishing today. We got lots of big tiger catfish. I'll show you a few uh, little small videos here. Praise be to the Lord. Amen.
мыть порим. Таранга? Это спири? Ну, ну, ну. into the lake of fire and brimstone where the beast and the false prophet are and shall be tormented day and night forever and ever. And the books were opened. And another book was opened which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it. And death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them. And they were judged every man according to their works. This is the second death. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire.